Hi guys, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Monday. I have some happy mail today. So I hope you all can see this okay. Um, I, I'm not getting my whole self in the video. Um, I just don't feel like it these days, but I'm here, I'm alive. <laughs> um, and I, I kind of have been wanting to film um, when you're looking at a baby or something. Um, if y'all haven't noticed lately, I've been trying to get y'all closer and closer to what you're looking at um, because I realize that it's nicer when you can, you know, see closer up what someone is showing. Um, anyways, um, this is, uh, this mail is, I, I, it's open, but I didn't open it. You know, I just cut the tape. Addresses are blocked off. And um, this is from my dear friend Renee, and it's a great time to let you all know that Renee, uh, her uh, channel name has changed. So her channel name was Rain Firewater, and it is now Random Reborns, um, as well as her Instagram is also Random Reborns, and it's spelt, I think it's R, it's spelt different than random I believe um but there will absolutely be a link in the description below you should definitely head on over and check out her channel um as I said she is a very dear friend of mine and um she has great fabulous content on her channel um her uh daughter just had a, a box opening which was really exciting um and Renee really um you know, just, uh, you know, she's a wonderful person and she gives off a very peaceful, um, Zen vibe and, you know, she gets very interesting conversations about the psychology and what we all think about bonding with our babies and choosing babies. And she just, you know, um, it's just, uh, I'm always intrigued when, <laughs> you know, when I'm watching her and I'm always relaxed with my cup of coffee or tea and enjoying so um I just wanted to say that because she did have a you know a channel name change so I I just wanted to you know say a little more um so that you all can find her all right anyway so this is happy mail uh from Renee which is really really sweet Renee you did not have to do this I mean you could have sent a card over and I would have felt happy but and of course I'm over here and I have something for Brewster, which is uh, her new baby that I kind of took quite the journey with Renee on, uh, you know, as she was going through the, the process, um, you know, of uh, adopting Brewster. So um, she's a very special niece to me. Um, and I did order something which is here. I just haven't, forget it, just, <laughs> it's going to get out. <laughs> Let me go on because I've already been rambling for three minutes. And I want to get into it. Some of the babies are in the um, the Moses basket. And Aubrey is actually sitting here. I think you can see her feet. So let's get started. Because I don't think a happy mail opening is supposed to be 40 minutes long, right? Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Wow. All right, guys. Can you see this? How this is packaged? Oh, Renee. Wow. Oh, yeah, there goes the card flying. So, let me read this. So beautiful. Okay, so we have Tasha. Let me see if I can read this. Hello, just a few little things for sweet Aubrey. And me, a little something for Nicholas that I spotted a while back. Thank you for your friendship, Renee. Okay, I read that kind of low, but um, I didn't know what it was going to be. But I got it. Okay, so... Renee, you didn't have to send. Oh, okay. So I see this is from Nicholas, and she uh, tags that. How beautiful. So it's wrapped in tissue paper with blue and white ribbon and this beautiful um, paper flower in the middle that has green and white and then like a little blue kind of middle, really pretty, and it has a little... Uh, tag on it that says Nicholas and the tissue paper is white and it has like um, some sparklies on it some glitteries on it very very pretty so oh actually I have the scissors here so 
I can just snip an easy tag. Oh, can you all see what I'm doing here? Sorry. Nicholas and so me and so Renee <laughs> we're like we definitely share the same taste and this kind of stuff so this is oh my gosh thank you so much this is a um uh charcoal I guess you could say heather gray like charcoal heather gray um sweatshirt and then in black uh it feels like a like a felt kind of writing it says mini rock star but what's super cool is the O for the rock in the rock star is a skull. It's a leather skull. Um, so you can see the eyes in the middle and it's just so, so cool. Oh my goodness, that was really thoughtful. Thank you so much, Renee. And you know what? Um, I know we have some nice warm weather headed for us, but I keep I'm like the darn weather forecaster here. Like, you're welcome to to my channel to hear the New York weather. It is not nice outside today. Again, raining, damp, and cold sweatshirt weather. <laughs> so anyway, um, we can actually get some use out of this right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally feel like I'm just like fixated on the weather. <laughs> Anyways, next package here um is uh same same type of packaging so i don't have to, to you know won't describe that over again it's all in um tissue paper with uh blue and white ribbon and that little paper flower in the middle which is really beautiful it all looks very beautiful a lot better than i package i'm sure uh, oh my gosh oh you really didn't have to Wow. Oh my gosh. How sweet is this? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this with the candy on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, Renee, thank you so much. Oh wow, guys, look at this. So this is a two-piece outfit. How super fun is this? It's a two-piece outfit. Um, the pants, um, are, they're almost like they, I think they are meant to come up like a little bit over the ankles, I'm assuming on this, um, type of pant. Um, I don't even know what material. How would I describe this? It's, it's lightweight. It's not really, it, let me see what it's made of. Uh, the brand is Rare Editions. It's 24 months. It's 60% cotton, 40% polyester embroidery 100% spun polyester I'm just saying that because I don't know how to like describe this material but it is uh white and it has um they're actually like stitched polka dots all over it in purple green blue and pink and then the bottom is uh has uh like a ruffle um in I think that's like a gingham a green gingham is that what they call that print I think and it also has um uh two a, a bow on a pink bow on each side of like the ankle of the bottom of the pants like super super fun super fun and the top has the same um it is a um sleeveless top um, but the part that comes like up over the shoulders has a blue, a pink, and a green, um, in like the ruffle, the gingham ruffle. I, maybe I'm describing that right. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that matches like the bottom of the pant, which has the green. Um, and <clears throat> then again, as I said, it has the, the polka dots all over. You could feel them. You could feel they're like stitched or embroidered. Um, and then this is the best, the bottom here, it flares out and the bottom has these three like 
candies. It's material, but they're like, um, you know, like the candy that's like twisted at each end, um, like a, maybe like a Jolly Rancher or something like that. But that is again in the prints of the blue, pink and green gingham, I think, <laughs> um, uh, uh, pattern and there's little pink bows on either end of each of the pieces of candy. How isn't that fun? That is, Renee, you are, like, your taste is, like, I need somebody else to, like, pick out my doll's clothes because, probably my own clothes, too, because, like, I'm just so bad at it. <laughs> and this is just so adorable. This is going to look so fabulous. I'll pull Aubrey over in a minute, but how sweet, how sweet. And Aubrey has, like, very little clothes. Oh, there's, like, two more packages in here. Renee. I'm going to bean you, girl. <laughs> so we are on to the next package. This is too much, Renee. I really. Uh... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Another really fun. <gasps> Look at this. How sweet. Oh, Renee, thank you. How sweet. So this is a little two-piece outfit. Um, it is uh, Nanek Day Baby. I can't pronounce it. You know, oh, no, I'm not great with clothing brands and stuff. Um, the top is a sleeveless, except it has like a, a, like a small um, sleeve on the top. It has um, like a ruffle around the neck and also... Um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I don't know, there's like two layers and one is like a different material. It's pink, the top is pink, and it has this big fish on this, I think, is this a blowfish? I think this might be a blowfish, and the fish is blowing bubbles that is three little, um, silver buttons, how adorable, and then the, and the fish itself has this, um, it's not a lacy, uh, it's not really lace, but I don't know what you would call this material that's, that's make it like, makes it like it has like frills on it in, um, blue and pink. How cute is that? And then the bottom also has like more of that like material. You can feel it along the bottom. So how cute. And then the bottoms are, are these little bloomers or diaper covers as some of you call them, they're, they're, but they're little bloomers. It's an aqua blue that matches some of the colors in the fish. Um, it has a, a blue bow in the front, and then the back has the frills across the tush that match the fish, that match, which, uh, match what's on the fish. How sweet, how fun and sweet is that? Aubrey is going to look so, so sweet in these clothes. I cannot wait to try them on her. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, these are, like, super fun. Renee, you really know how to pick a style, like, right for a baby. Like, seriously. Um, yeah, he like I said, head on over to Renee's channel and check out her collection and how she dresses her babies. Because, like, you know, she's very good at, you know, dressing them, each one uniquely to their personality and, you know, stuff that I probably don't do too good. So we're at the last package. I know people, I'm yapping a lot. I always do, no matter what I'm opening. So, oh my gosh. Oh my God. Look at, oh wow. That is beautiful. Oh wow, this is a very gorgeous dress. Oh, it has a headband. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful dress. Oh my gosh, Creations Pilly. Okay, it's a dress, it has a diaper cover, it has a matching headband. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna describe this? <laughs> I struggle describing the last ones. Okay, so it has a, um, wow. Okay, so it's a pretty long dress. Um, it'll probably fall like to her knees or maybe a little below. It's sleeveless. Um, it has a bow across the 
front. Now, is this bow, let me undo this bow, because I'm thinking maybe, Renee, you're going to have to tell me, is the bow meant to go across the back? Because <laughs> Kimberly had a message to me on my crochet order to tell me that I had the baby's outfits on backwards because I had the buttons in the front. <laughs> anyway, um, so you'll have to let me know if I'm supposed to tie this in the back, I think. Because the front does have across the bodice is... Um, uh, I guess it's a pink or more pink. Um, it has a stripe than the pattern, which I will try to describe, than a stripe. And it has a flower up there on it. And then on the bottom, it also has like a thick, you know, like stripe and then goes down into ruffle. Um, and the pattern is, um, to me, it's very like picnic-y and summery. I don't know, you know, it has, you know, like, it has like squares and some of them have like flowers on them and um, some of them have like the crisscross, uh, blah, 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 blah. you know, they're, they're squares and then it has some, you know, flowers around on it. It's just very um, summery, you know, Sunday picnic uh, dress. Um, the headband is matching. It has the, a flower on it that matches the flower on the chest. Um, it's very beautiful, very cute. And then the um, the bloomers for it are in the pink. Um, like I said, I think maybe this is more like a mauve pink, um, which, oh my gosh, how beautiful. Renee, I mean, you really outdid yourself here. Um, thank you. So This all is just so very, very thoughtful and way too much. You know what I'm going to tell you. And this dress, I feel, oh, it has, um, this I remember because my daughter's, uh, you know, like first birthday dresses and stuff like that. It has a layer of, uh, crinoline under it. It has like a slip and then a layer of crinoline on the bottom. So it gives it some poof on the bottom. Just absolutely absolutely gorgeous gorgeous dress i cannot wait let me bring aubrey over here real quick so you guys can just see um what just like wow what fun outfits you fit a lot in that box renee wow <laughs> so let's say hello to aubrey and aubrey definitely has to say thank you to auntie renee absolutely so let's hold her up a little bit i know everybody's looking to see aubrey and her hair is just thrown up in pigtails and she's just she's wearing the same short outfit she's been wearing um in a few videos um and she has on um the little shoes i think everyone saw them in a video that i just got from um, Burlington and I did or I did get a pair of uh, white patent leather dress shoes for her as well that that fit that I got from Burlington as well so she does have a couple pairs of shoes <laughs> and now she has some clothes thank you to Auntie Renee so let's hold up this dress oh my goodness look at that with her hair color and her eye color like this Look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I don't know what to put on her first, but I just cannot wait to like take pictures. <laughs> how fun is this going to be? So let me hold up something else. Just the colors and just how fun. Oh my gosh. And her tush with the, I could definitely see her with the pigtails in this outfit with the frillies on the tush and stuff. <laughs> how sweet. And... And this, the green really makes her, her eyes and her hair pop with this outfit, the pants outfit, which I'm now holding up over her. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. Oh, and the dress, by the way, guys, is it buttoned all the way down the back? But it has buttons. Yeah, it buttons up um, like the top half of the back. It has buttons. So, Renee... Well, you most certainly cheered me up, <laughs> and Aubrey now has some clothes, um, because, like, that was totally, guys, let me, let me put you up a minute, that was totally on the, the back burner with everything that I got, um, going on with the, um, uh, with the car and all that, I don't want to keep repeating myself over and over again, I think we are arriving at what we are going to do, um, 
and I, I don't even want to get, I was going to, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to get into that we're arriving at what we're gonna do it just it took some time to to figure out because you know with the used vehicle it's you you have to figure at a certain point do you do you want to continue to fix that da, 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 da. so you know that's you know taking some some time um you know and with the business and kids and everything with all else it you know if the you'd be shocked how quickly and easily you can kind of you know, go under where you feel like you're hit, you're just cut your head above water and you're bobbing and you're trying to keep your household running. If that, you know, as crazy as that sounds, um, you know, I have my parents, they're self sufficient, you know, about 35 minutes away from me, but they don't come out here. My, it, the sugar gliders are too, too much. I don't do any entertaining in my house. My, my mom's allergies and stuff, they, they can't even be in my house. So, you know, I don't have, you know, like help, you know, and you know, just the kids and Gabe special needs and stuff like that. It's, it can, um, excuse me, it can easily, um, you know, like I said, it can easily become a lot when, when stuff starts piling up, when you get behind from, you know, many, many days of feeling not well, having some migraines, not having a vehicle, you know, things like that. So, you know, I was, you know, I know I've been out of sorts lately and then I'm not even going to get into the other part <laughs> of anything. But um, like I said, it, it can happen. It can happen really easily. But of course, you know, I'm I'm self-aware. I, I, what am I going to do? Crawl in a hole and die? You know, <laughs> we're unplugging away, getting done what I have to get done. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing else to say. Um, so, oh, I do. I have the handset, guys. I can make it stop. <laughs> Hang on, guys. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up so I don't wind up having to do video editing and stitching the video together on the Kid Master because otherwise it, it stops the video and, and makes another one when I use too much uh, space on the phone. Um, but I'm glad you guys got to see a little bit of Aubrey today. And Renee, you, you are, you have been such a good friend here for me. Um, not here, but in life. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I just, I, I, you know, I can't thank you enough. Your friendship means, you know, um, so much to me and, uh, you know, it's just, it's nice to have, you know, somebody here that you can, you know, confide in and all the things. So, you know, not only thank you for the beautiful happy mail, uh, you know, and for Aubrey and Nicholas, um, but you know, just, just for being there in general. So, all right, everyone, um, there's gonna be a link to Renee's channel. Um, if you're not familiar with it, um, you definitely want to check it out. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I needed to update you guys with today. I don't think so. That was it. We just came on to do some happy mail. Oh, I'm still procrastinating on, um, piercing Aubrey's ears. I think I mentioned that on Instagram. I had put the little pencil mark and like, I, I'm, I'm not worried about, I know how to do it, um, so I'm not worried about, like, messing it up or anything like that, and I, t I so know that she is, you know, Aubrey is all girl, I mean, this baby is just, most Liam's are truly boys, Aubrey is, you know, is, she's just all girl, I, I mean, there's no way I, that this baby is ever gonna be a boy, um, so I don't know why I'm procrastinating, but again, it's, you know, you're, you're doing something permanent to, you know, um, you know, a very expensive, you know, doll. So I, I just, I haven't done it yet. I haven't, you want to look at the camera? You're being very quiet today. Let's turn your head. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, so I haven't done it yet. I got a piercer. As I, and then I was procrastinating. I'm like, should I do it on camera? Should I show everybody? But, you know, I like to concentrate and you know, not have any distraction when I'm doing stuff like that. So I'll probably just do it on my own and then show off that whoever you got her ears pierced, right? You want to get your ears pierced? You want to wear pretty earrings, right? I know you said you did. You said you did. <laughs> All right. All right. Say bye to Auntie Renee. Say bye to everybody. 
Aw. You know, she's a little shy on camera. She's rambunctious around here and around the house, that's for sure. And she's loving, you know what, it's nap time. It's past nap time, so we're just a little tired. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone's week is off to a great start. And I will be back soon. All right, everyone. God bless.